Today we're going to crack open the Superhero Encyclopedia and learn about characters like Zoom and Zatanna, all the way to Superman, characters you know and some you might not even know or recognize. We can learn all about characters like Cobra, like Imperial X, all the way up to mainstream heroes like The Flash, Catwoman, and yes, even Batman. Find out what hero or villain we'll be learning about in today's episode. Alright, today in the encyclopedia we're going to be reading about Agent Liberty. Agent Liberty, I have a couple of comics of his. I always thought he was kind of cool looking, but uh... Yeah, let's see what he's all about. Agent Liberty first appeared in Superman, second series, issue number 60, October 1991. Status hero, real name Benjamin Lockwood. Occupation, covert agent, base mobile. Height, 6 foot 2 inches, weighed 195 pounds, eyes blue, hair brown. Special powers and abilities, master of armed combat and espionage. Outfitted with a battle suit that bristles with weaponry, gauntlets, uh, generate bu uh, gauntlets generate bullet deflecting force fields, or became jagged bayonets. A jet pack enables him to soar into the air. As part of a C CIA anti-terrorist mission that went wrong, Operative Ben Lockwood survived in hostile terrain for months. Upon returning to the U.S., he joined the super-patriotic, well-funded team of radicals called the Sons of Liberty on the recommendation of his former bureau chief as, uh, bureau chief, as Agent Liberty. Lockwood enjoyed access to high-tech armor and weapons, as well as helicopter teams that covered his back on particular dangerous missions. In one of his first cases, Agent Liberty helped Superman crack down on intergang crooks. Agent Liberty broke ranks with the Sons of Liberty when the organization ordered him to assassinate Senator Pete Ross, which you'll know who Pete Ross is if you watch the show Smallville. He refused, killing his former mentor in the process and forwarded classified information on the Sons of Liberty to the Daily Planet reporter Clark Kent before beginning a new life on the run. Despite his lack of superpowers, Agent Liberty has put in a short stint with the Justice League of America. And uh, I, I always thought that his costume looked uh, really, really cool. Kind of like an off knock of Captain America in a way. Uh, but I love his gadgets, just the weaponry of the gun, the jetpack, and then force field gauntlets. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, he does have sort of like a Batman utility belt. Um, I do have an issue of his called Sons of Liberty. I can't remember the exact number of the issue. Uh, but that, that comic was pretty good, but not like too overwhelmingly great. Uh, but I don't really know too much more about this guy. I don't think he had appeared in other comics recently. Uh, so, yeah, with uh, the knowledge that it gave and the way he looks, I, w I would say I give him a pretty high number. I would rate him at a 7 out of 10 simply because love the outfit, love the gadgets he uses, and he just seems like a fitting character in the Superman comic universe. So, uh, yeah, that's my review of Agent Liberty. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, next, we'll be reading Agony and Ecstasy. So, stay tuned.